guys, I'm Matt from Model Flight, and today we're here to look at the Apprentice S. Uh, we'll have a quick look in the box, it's been around for a little while, but um, we'll show you what it's about. Okay, so here we are in the box. Again, we're looking at the ready to fly. So, again, everything packaged up nicely fuselage, wings, transmitter, charger, and battery. So, we'll take it out and uh, put it together for you guys. So we've got the apprentice out of the box. As you can see, most of it is pre-assembled. So we've got the receiver uh, with the safe technology pre-installed, servos, ESC, they're all in there. There is a few things we need to do to get it ready for flying. Um, so we'll start with the fuselage and we'll put the landing gear on. So first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to take the spinner off and we'll take um, the propeller off to allow us to get underneath the cowling. So this is just a press fit. It just comes off. So we'll just take the propeller now off the front here. So we'll just use the shifter spanner for that. Put these off to the side for the moment. Take the cowling off. And what we need to get to underneath here, tip it upside down, is this bit here. So that's the steering horn, and there's a screw that retains the landing gear. And you'll see there's a, a recess or a flat spot in there. That fits into there. Tighten that up. The cowling can go back on. Underneath the back of the airplane here, we're installing the mains, and they just uh, fit in with these clips. So you just press them together, press the two wheels together into this section here. We clip in, let go, and that held, holds it in all like that. Now we're at the back of the airplane. We're going to install the elevator and the rudder. So this is quite easy. Um, these just fit together. So we'll pop that on there. Press them together. Putting the tail on just to clear the push rods, so in between the push rods and the body, locate the holes, like that. And there are two screws which fit into these. And on top, we'll just put the control horns on, the clevises on the control horns, for the rudder and the elevator. So just move those rubber retainers forwards. The clevis apart. Retain it back over again. We'll do that for the elevator as well. So we've got the wings here out of the box. We'll lift the servos up firstly to attach the control horns and push rod onto there. So it lifts the servo up out of the wing. Attach the aileron and then the rubber retainer to stop the clevises from coming apart. Same for this wing. Making sure to use the same hole on both wings. And they just simply push together with the carbon fibre wing tube, wing joiner, and then leave these two extension leads out. We'll need them later. And then they have these plastic wing caps and they have double sided tape on there. So we just peel the double sided tape off and I'll sit one on the leading edge and then one on the trailing edge to hold the wings together. Now we can offer the wing up to the fuselage. We'll just plug these connectors in for the ailerons. And hide them down there and the wing can go on. And the wing's just held on by rubber bands. So here's our apprentice fully assembled. This one's ready to go. Um, up the front we've got our 15 size brushless motor. This gives us plenty of power to get out of trouble. So um, heaps of torque, heaps of power, um, keep it really stable. Uh, the battery included with this in the ready to fly package is a 3S3200. That'll fit underneath the bottom of this, we'll show you that in a second. And that runs with a 30 amp speed controller. The back of the airplane, the apprentice has really large control surfaces so that keeps it stable and also allows you to do maneuvers and assist the safe with keeping the plane as level as possible so you've got plenty of control to move the plane around and, and do what it needs to do. To install the battery, we've got the battery hatch here so on the lever just flick that to one side, peel the hatch forwards and the battery simply sits into these velcro straps here.
and the battery can be moved slightly to adjust the center of gravity and it gets held in with those and then the connector at the back to turn on is at the back there up the front as we showed you before when installing the nose wheel and um, this is actually steerable so um, it works with the rudder so you're allowed to taxi around on the ground and you can have full control while still on the ground so there you go guys there are some of the features of the new apprentice s and um, we're going to run this down to hello code to take it for a bit of a spin and show you the features of the safe technology um, and some of the electronic benefits that this model offers so here we are hello code for the apprentice s15 uh, out of the box so we'll take it for a bit of a spin and see what we get today So safe mode, uh, agility and stability mode, and each, each, each mode does exactly what you want it to do. So um, if you get in trouble, you've got safe mode there. Stability mode makes it really easy for the beginner, and agility mode for even the best aerobatic pilots in the world. You can have fun with it. So if you guys want more information about the Apprentice S15E, click on the link here. We also have uh, Delta Ray, which is featuring safe technology. If you're interested in that, click in the link up here. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel up here.